Hey, what's going on Transformers collectors? Um, just picked this guy up here. This is uh, Transformers Prime Beast Hunters. Uh, they're coming out with the new uh, Transformers Prime. It's coming out with the new uh, Beast Hunters uh, figures. And so uh, I figured I'd get started on my uh, Beast Hunters. Uh, I picked up uh, this guy's called Laserback. Uh, that's how it looks like. And uh, it has a roll-up mode package here. And there's a uh, dragon mold. <clears throat> this guy's pretty cool. Um, check him out. And uh, this will be a uh, opening uh, review for uh, Transformers Prime Laserback. Uh, so far, I've got all the, uh, I've got most of the Transformers Prime figures, and so uh, uh, these are coming out now. So I, uh, I, I got to pick some of these up. So here is some of the data that's on here. This is series two, uh, number three, and they also have. Uh, let's see here. They also have uh, Bumblebee, Wheeljack, and Soundwave um, for this series. So I picked up uh, Laserback, and uh, we'll uh, get a review on this and see how it's like. All right, just uh, well, pause for a minute and uh, open this up, and uh, we'll uh, get the figure out. All right. Alright, so we got Laserback out of uh, the package, and uh, this is how it looks like. And the colors are red, uh, yellow, purple, and a little bit of black in some, more, in some parts. But um, he's supposed to be a, a, a dragon or some sort. A non-flying dragon, I'm guessing. Um, and I, I mean, I do like dragons, but uh, I guess this one doesn't have any wings. It looks like a mix of a dragon, a lizard, or something like that. But, uh, pretty cool. Um, the colors are okay. I mean, it's pretty nice. Um, let's see what else is on here. Uh, the gun here is uh, meant for his back. You could take that off, and, and uh, it just comes off like this. So, if you take this off, it just comes off. But, uh, I'll take that off in a little bit. Other than that, his mouth does open and it does close, so that's pretty cool. Um, my, on mine, uh, this thing is very uh, loose. I don't know if it's with anyone else's, but mine's pretty loose. So I'm um, probably going to put some uh, super glue on or something. I don't know. We'll see if I can take that off. But overall, pretty nice. Um, I'm guessing all of the Predacons are gonna be like dragon like or some sort I think so we'll look forward to that uh, but overall I'm gonna give you a 360 of the the uh, dragon mode and it's pretty cool because he does come with the um, the uh, symbol here right there for uh, the predic predicons so that's pretty cool um, other than that as uh, pretty simple this guy's pretty simple um, let's come to the legs and you can see uh, the two are um, hands here so uh, let's see here's this so we could get onto the transformation here and uh, it's kind of simple there's some parts that are very are kind of annoying but other than that I means it's, it's not that bad so uh, let's go on to the transformation Alright, so what you want to do is um, just uh, take its tail out. So take it, it comes down like this side. Uh, leave that to the side. Uh, come up here and uh, take the weapon out. Alright. And then what you want to do is uh, put the legs down. Put the legs down and. Uh, bend this up for now and uh, there's a there's a peg here and a peg here so what you want to do is uh, you want to pick that together so you want to pick this and this like that so now he has feet standing up like that okay and then what you want to do is uh, uh, want to take this if I can get it out, 
let's see here. Take this off, and uh, this does come off again. So once you get that off, you can put that down more now. But then you have to peg this leg back on again. So you peg the leg on, and then you open this part, the other chest, and you open up this chest, and then you flip this down. All right, and uh, this is the hard part. So what you want to do is uh, you want to get this head to fit into it, not out of it. So you gotta um, bend this front back and pull the head back as far as you can and then you want to um, put this in there like that so it goes in all right and then uh then you could put that on the back and then that goes that goes in like that and then uh on the top here you could Bend that down, bend that down, so this part goes down. And this, there's these things that you could go down and put these down, down like that. Um, it was like that before, it was up. So you could turn these all the way until they kind of have a groove on there. All right. And then uh, put the shoulders up. Fix his leg here first. Uh, the legs here and then put these I like these up like this it just looks more nicer and then you want to take the arms out bend them forward and it clicks in and then you want to bend this forward and it clicks in there you go and then, now like when, when I said I had some loose joints, it's okay now, um, but I mean, it was loose before, so I fix the arms here. Okay, and then uh, there's that gun. You could you could pick the gun up here if you want, so it has a more of a um, canyon look through it, to it. If you can see from that far. There. See, mine's kind of wobbly. Um, I don't know why, but it's kind of wobbly. Or you could have the gun. You take the gun off. And you could have them hold the gun. But what you want to do is you want to open this up first. So, and this part is like plastic kind of, so you see how it bends. So you could open this and open this to have them have this like gun looking thing. Um, and like I said, mine doesn't stand as good because um, of uh, the uh, joints that I have in mine. And let's see if I can. Oops, and it fires. There goes the missile. Put the missile on. And uh, let's have him hold this. So this is how it looks like. He always wants to come out sometimes. So let's have him hold this. And that's the best it could do. Right there. It looks like a bird <laughs> gun. But, uh, and then here is his other tail. Um put that on there oops and really I don't I don't know I'm not a fan of these uh, to put this on here but uh, that's how it looks like and again mine due to the weapon that's kind of heavy mine almost wants to fall down but uh, you can have it like this holding the gun um, I just like mine in the back Cause it looks, it just looks more better in the back here with mine. Anything else? Um, I think it's stored there somewhere. I gotta find a way where I store this tail. But here is uh, laser back and uh, robot mode. 
And like I said, he's pretty easy to uh, transform. Um, and I like stuff like this, but here's how he looks. There you go. Um, I think it's a very, very nice robot. Um, it's it's really easy to uh, transform. He looks pretty cool. Uh, I like the colors, pretty nice. The back of this. Like I said, the only drawback is mine's kind of loose. And uh, this pivot here, um, I'm kind of worried about this pivot here because uh, I don't know how long that's going to last or how, how well it's going to hold the leg. But other than that, I don't have a lot of complaints about this um, figure. And he is a really nice figure, so um, looking forward to the other uh, Beast Hunters that are coming out for this series or this wave. But uh, I would have to say that um, anyone who is collecting a lot of Transformers Prime, pick this guy up. He's pretty cool. Um, hopefully you get one that uh, has a better... Uh, um, well, he likes to stand better than mine because mine's kind of loose on all the joints. But other than that, uh, very, very nice figure. And uh, hopefully I'll fix that soon. But other than that, thank you for watching. And uh, oh, here, I gotta do one more thing. Um, let's get to artic articulation quick and then uh, we'll head out. Here is uh, the head, the head goes on the uh, joint. And mine's kind of loose also, you see that? It's very loose. I don't know why, but... So that, and it can nod pretty easy. Uh, the joints, arm goes up and down. Goes much, it goes about this high. Bends at the arm here. Hands do rotate all the way. Mm, no waist joint, no waist joint. The uh, legs go up about this high oh, and then falls off and uh, goes this much and this much there's a um, knee joint here and I don't know what these actual pivots are so here they are but uh, overall I mean this uh, this is a pretty good figure um, I gotta say so other than that got not much to uh, say to uh, go and pick up your uh, this guy up if you see him at the store, he looks very cool. All right, uh, until then, I'll see everybody later, and uh, thank you for watching. Bye.